Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Intermoney Stocks. Today is April 7, 2016. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in today. All right, looking at the S&P 500 E-mini futures here, you're going to see that the futures are trading down about 11 points to 20.49 and a quarter per contract. Yesterday, the markets did have a pretty big rally. Today, they are giving some of that back ahead of the opening bell. We'll see how this market plays out. Again, I've been telling everyone that with the light volume, it seems like it's very easy for the markets to push them push their way right back up. And we have seen extremely light volume really since the beginning of March. So again, uh, markets have not uh, really showed any kind of volatility uh, with any volume behind it. All any down move has really been accompanied by very, very light volume. And that tells us it's a dull tape. So we'll see if... Uh, Today's little gap down is meaningful, or does the market just move right back up toward the highs? All right, let's look at some stocks in the news. We're going to start with VRX. A lot of you know this company here. This is Valiant Pharmaceuticals, Bill Ackman's big position. Stock right now is trading at $36.28. Looks like the company did announce or is going to do a restructuring. Again, we could care less about the news. What we care about are the levels. And um, right now, the stock is not giving me a great read, but it is up ahead of the opening bell. So we'll see where it goes there. And uh, we'll watch this one once the opening bell rings for pattern. But there's not a lot we could do with it here with the big giant fall that it's had. It is rebounding or retracing a bit of its losses um, from earlier last month. All right, let's take a look at Wynn Resorts. That was upgraded. And uh, you're going to see here that the stock is trading at $95 a share. Again, I don't know if there's a whole lot of upside here, but if it gets to $100, Wynn Resorts is probably a short. Uh, let's look at Bed Bath Beyond, BBBY, Bed Bath and Beyond. Uh, right now is trading at $20, uh, $50.20, closed at $48.81. So this has caught a little bit of a bid today, nice little move. Again, the pattern looks pretty strong here, so we'll give this a slight upside bias. But again, if you own it, I would start to trail the stop loss immediately. If you don't own it, we'll look for pattern first. Uh, don't, don't jump in right away. We'll see how it looks once the opening bell ring rings today. And again, if you want to trade alongside of us, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room, and you'll see everything that we are doing there. Let's take a look next up here at Conagra. C-A-G is the ticker symbol. Looks like they had earnings. Stock is trading at 46.20. As you can see right here, closed at $45.43. So that's a pretty decent uptick. Again, um, stock's been moving higher, so you got to be a little bit careful here. It is getting a little bit overbought, but nothing terrible here this morning. We'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at Palo Alto Networks. P-A-N-W is a ticker symbol. Stock is trading at 153.17, closed at 158.22. So I'm not sure what's causing the drop here, but um, this is a decent little gap down this morning. There's no volume behind it, so maybe it recovers quickly. Maybe it's an erroneous print, but um, something to keep an eye out for uh, once the opening bell rings. This is a stock that we do play very, very often in the intraday stock chat room. Uh, let's move over now to CarMax. CMX is the ticker symbol here. <clears throat> Did I type that wrong? We'll go back to that one. Let's go to Skechers, SKX. And what you're going to see here is that uh, Skechers right now is trading around $27.85, closed at $28.41. So this is trading down a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what the news is here. I don't know if there's a whole lot of downside here, but there's still a fair amount of support at 25 if it does get there. But let's look at it once we see that happen. Let's go back to CarMax. KMX is the ticker symbol there. And you're going to see the stock is trading decently higher at $54.34. It traded uh, yesterday at the close at $53.29. So you got a nice little, nice little jump here. There should be some resistance in this general area. Um, and then after this, really the big resistance would be around $58.30, but that's still quite a, dis uh, quite a bit away. So we'll look at that one again when it gets there. I want to take a look at HOG today, which is Harley-Davidson. This did receive a downgrade, but I don't think there's a whole lot of downside from here. Um, if it does get down to $43, that would be an excellent support level. I'm not even sure we'll see that, but again, uh, keep that on the radar today. Let's take a look at Deutsche Bank. Europe is slightly lower. 
Deutsche Bank right now is trading at $15.88, closed at $16.16. Again, European bank stocks just continue to look horrible. Very, very close to new uh, all-time lows. Not quite there yet, but um, nonetheless, we've got to keep those on the radar. Another one here that I like to follow is Credit Suisse. That is trading at $13.39, closed at $13.48, so no big deal there. Looking over at the gold market today, you're going to see gold futures are soaring. They are trading higher by $16.70 to $1,240 an ounce. Let's go over to the GLD. See the GLD today is trading at $118.40. Good little pop there. I still think gold is in a range, but nonetheless, we are getting a little bit of a bid ahead of the opening bell today. Crude oil futures are down, I believe at the moment, 22 cents lower, trading at um, $37.53 a barrel. So again, not going to make much out of oil. Oil did have a nice pop yesterday on the back of inventories and also on the back of some news that OPEC would cut production. But again, we hear that stuff all the time. So let's take it with a grain of salt. Let's look at the charts and we'll do whatever the charts tell us. Futures are down $9.25 right now to twenty fifty one per contract. And we'll see how this market plays out. Again, if you want to trade alongside of us, take a seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We're having a great 2016 and you'll see everything that we are doing in there. You can trade right alongside of us. All right, everybody, with that being said, have a great trading session, and we will see you on the charts.